Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Complete Selection Modification O's Driver Complete Set. This thing is huge. This box is beautiful. It is massive. Just for a little size comparison, here is a little Mega Bloks Leonardo. Just for a size comparison, this box is massive. There's a ton of amazing stuff in this box. The box itself is incredibly beautiful. Here is the front. If you take a look, here is the back. You have Ankh's hand there, which is pretty cool. And then all of your warnings and random things like that. And then if you take a look around the side, you can see pictures of all the medals. This thing comes with 59 different medals, which is really, really amazing. And you can see them all shown around the side here. Now I apologize. This thing, because it's black, is like a super magnet for any dust and it just completely jumps on there and grabs it on. But if we take off the lid real quick, you can see this um, insert, which we'll get to in a moment. But I wanted to show this off because there's a really nice picture of Taj Adol inside. So that's pretty cool. And then this little insert lifts out and everything is underneath there in the styrofoam. So I'm going to get this out of the way for now. And we'll take a look at this insert that comes inside. So this thing's pretty cool. You can see it says Kogami Foundation on the top. Nothing on the back here. But when you open it up, it's got something probably very interesting written here on the side, which unfortunately I cannot read. And then it's got these little... Uh, I don't really know what to call them. They're little sheets of paper, but... I don't want to get them all out of here without spoiling anything. Basically, they're kind of like diagnostic sheets I don't want to quite say blueprints there we go so you can see this one here is kind of like a family tree of the metals and how they connect and how they can work together and things like that which is kind of cool and then if you flip this over this side's blank but if we go on to the next one it's again it's almost like a little I don't want to say blueprints, but just like fancy. You can see it says confidential on the back, and this describes the O's driver and its components. And then if you flip this one over, we have our first combo, Tatoba, which is still one of my favorites. And then it just kind of goes through all of them. And I guess they like, like I said, I wish I could read all this, but you can see it details out different parts of the armor and things like that. Puchatira. And then we're getting into some lesser known forms. Super Tato Bar. I like this one a lot. <laughs> I think this one's so colorful and fun. And there are sounds for all these forms in the driver. I just think it's cool that they give you visuals, especially for these forms that like we never saw on the show. I think that's really cool. And then here's Taka Kangaroo Bata. And then Kangaroo Legs. And then we have Panda. And hermit crab. Then I believe this is common rider Poseidon. So that's really cool. I think all of those are really neat. Now I have to put these all back together, but I'll do that. And then we will move on to the components of the driver. But I think it's really neat to include all these forms. 
uh, with these little diagnostic sheets, especially for the forms we never really saw on the show. I think it's just really nice, beautiful artwork, and I'm glad it's included in the set. All right, so this is most of what you get in the box. The only two things I didn't show are the two pieces of the belt that clip in on either side, and then they have a plastic piece in the back, kind of like when you put a kid in a shopping cart and you put the little belt around their waist. It's one of those kind of plastic buckles, and then it comes with a kind of belt clasp, uh, very much what we're used to with most of these drivers, that little square that just kind of goes over where they connect so you don't have it, you know, butting into your back. Um, but I leave those in the box because I can't wear these belts. They never fit me. So I usually just leave them in the box and I don't want to disturb them. But I will say that they are definitely very nice quality. They definitely look like they're more comfortable than the normal plastic and they're definitely a, a scale above. And I'll show you here with the scanner. So the scanner clips into this piece and you can see that there's this nice kind of cloth here with the Velcro. And the belt clasp that goes on the back to cover the connector is the very same kind of Velcro, how it attaches over top instead of just sliding through. So it's definitely a higher quality. Now, when you move, you can pull this out and it is a little uh, tough because it's really meant to be uh, clasped in there, but you just kind of eventually get it past and you can see this piece here because that's what clips out once you go past to really click it in place which is nice i mean you could run with it on and it wouldn't be uh in danger of flying out of there and you can see this piece is nicely painted very nicely detailed has again that nice cloth and velcro i'm going to put this off to the side for kind of the rest of the review we just need the actual scanner itself and to just address this real quick it's you know kind of what we're used to the little metal holder opens up holds six metals Again, nicely painted, very nice silver paint there. This just slides up. You put it on one side of the belt, then you slide it back down with the belt in between, and there you go. Now it's on your belt. Very basic. Again, uh, we get 59 medals, and this thing can only hold six. So not really much to do with this for the rest of the review. Uh, we do also get the Poseidon buckle. You can see it holds three metals right there. You can just pop it right off. And it does come with batteries included. You can see the little plastic tab was pulled out. So it comes with two LR44 watch batteries in there. And it just connects on here pretty simply. Uh, you can see where you would attach the two belt. You get one belt, and if you want to use this one, then you attach it to this. If you want to use the normal one, you take it off of this and put it on there. So you only have enough belt loops, belt pieces, I guess I should say, to use one buckle at a time. But so this is the Poseidon buckle, not too much to it, but we'll take a look at this a little bit later in the re review. I'm going to put that off to the side here because this is kind of the meat and potatoes. This is what we want to see here. Here is the O's driver. It doesn't really do a whole lot on its own, to be honest. And this could even be the same one from like the super best version. I don't really know how they would change it all that much. I mean, it's nicely painted. It looks great. Cocks to the side like usual. Hit the button to put it back. Hit this button underneath if you would like to take it off. You don't really have any reason to take it off. At least I don't see any. So I think it's cool, but again, there's not a whole lot to this piece here. Uh, all the magic is really going to be in the metals and in the scanner itself. So the scanner has two switches here. This is just an on and off switch, and then this will change you between the three different modes. There is the normal mode, a buddy voice mode, and an Ankh Seeker mode, I think it's called. I have the instructions here. I'll probably be referring to these throughout the video. But look, there's an English section. Look how nice that is. I mean, usually with the pictures, you can tell what's going on, but you can actually see all the... Here are all the medals, by the way, all 59 medals. With nice English names, very swanky. Here's the two belt pieces and then the little clasp I was talking about. Nothing too exciting about those. But just to show you real quick, you can put the batteries in. I told you about taking the tab out of the Poseidon buckle. And then it just kind of shows you, here's the plastic piece I was talking about and how it connects there. And then you just put the Velcro over top, just like I was talking about. So that's just basically showing you how to put the belt all together. And then if you want to switch it out, take it off there, put the Poseidon buckle in. So these are the three modes. There's normal mode, buddy voice mode, and Ankh navigation mode. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know. I've been playing with this for a while. I don't really know what the buddy voice mode and the Ankh navigation mode do. 
Uh, this right here is a list of all of the sounds, the phrases that it says. As you can see, it is about two pages of phrases, 89 <laughs> phrases. That is crazy. But we'll take a look at those. So here is the Ankh navigation mode. It says you put it in the navigation mode, you short press the dialog button, and then it says these sound effects will go off randomly. From what I can tell, the Ankh navigation mode is he tells you like a combo to do, and then you can put those three in the driver and scan it, and then I guess you win or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really going to go too much into that because it's just kind of like a weird game. They also have another game later on called the uh, Specific Metal Transformation Game. And it's kind of the same thing. He just, like, he tells you a combo. If you put it in and you scan it and you're right, like, hooray, you did it. Uh, to me, those are, like, the extra things they toss in that I never really care about. And then it says normal mode, long press dialog button. And then it has these other sounds that will go uh, kind of at random. And then the buddy voice mode, again, is kind of the same thing. Long press the dialog button on the side. Uh, the below sounds will go off randomly. I don't know. I mean, I guess that it helps if you're trying to cosplay or trying to pretend like you're O's and, you know, you have people randomly talking to you and you can have reactions and things. It's kind of neat, but I'm not really going to go too much into it. I'm going to really just demo all of those phrases for you because there's a ton. And then, of course, we're going to scan through all of the possibilities. And uh, the background music is really cool. And I'll show you how that works, too. And then it just kind of tells you how to scan, and then it tells you all of the possibilities here, which is pretty cool. So I will definitely be referring to this as we go, because there is a ton of stuff in here to show you, and I want to make sure that I do not forget anything. So I guess first off, we'll just go through all the dialogue phrases with the scanner. All right, so just coming to the scanner, uh, this is the panel here in the front that you slide off and you put the three AAA batteries in, then you slide it back on. Here is your speaker. Like I said, here is the on and off switch. Here is to switch between the three modes. Normal is all the way to the right. The middle is the buddy voice and all the way to the left is the onk navigation mode. Here is the background music button. And then here is the dialogue button here. And then, of course, the trigger is still in the same place for scanning. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And then we'll just start going through these dialogues. ただ手が届くのに手を伸ばさなかったら死ぬほど後悔するそれが嫌だから手を伸ばすんだそれだけ人の価値は俺が決めることじゃない俺は決めるぞ<笑> 
ちなしと見たらすぐにお前を捨てる俺はお前の隙を見つけてひなちゃんのお兄さんを助けるお前を倒してもやれたら褒めてやるアンクお前アイス食いすぎおい変われってはい変わったおい変われよおいライダーは助け合いでしょお前と約束したって意味ないだろま今日のパンツじゃ死ねないだろうと思ってさだから意味わからんがお前が使えるバカなのは間違いないいやお前も結構使えるグリードだと思うよアイスキャンディ1年分だあそれにひなちゃんを助けたらコアメダルは俺が絶対取り返す乗ったやっと見つけた俺のコアだーエイジが生きてれば必ず来る来るヤミーを倒すためならな一つだけヤミーを倒すって一点でだけあいつの行動を信用できるんですよね本当それだけだしムッカつきますけど生きてたか当たり前だわお前覚えとけよ<笑>これ以上メダル取られんなよアンクなんか変なんだコンボもしてないのに胸が苦しくてなんかドキドキしてるこれって願いコンボ
欲望だけは人間以上と来てる食っても見ても触っても絶対満たされない欲望それがどれほどのことかは分かるよっていうか分かったそれでもやる<笑>自分はグリードになってかああ何が分かったなエイジお前は何も分かってないグリードなら何も欲しくないって顔すんだ欲しいんだろお前は欲しがりすぎるんだよ命が欲しいなら人の命を大切にしろ知るかお前もなんか欲しがってみろそうすれば分かるお前なんか欲しいと思ったことあんのかあんのかエイジ俺は俺は欲しかった欲しかったはずなのに諦めて蓋して目の前のことだけをどんなに遠くても届く俺の腕力もっともっともう叶ってたお前からもらってたんだ一度も言ってなかったハンクありがとうなんでなんでだ何がありがとうだああ渡すんじゃなかったこんなやつにこんなエジ力が欲しいならこんな程度で暴走してんだこのバカが俺を思い出したんです俺の欲力ですどんな場所にもどんな人にも絶対に届く俺の手力俺はそれが欲しいただのメダルの塊が死ぬか戻る俺がついてないと相当ヤバいだろうあの使えるバカはもうこれ以上お前と戦わなくていいってことか<笑>決着がつけられなくて残念だったなこれ以上の決着はないだろう本当。これ以上はないよ今俺の中にはあなたを絶対に倒せるだけの力があるエイジお前これのためにセルメダルをエイジよせこれ使えおじ
いちゃんの遺言で男はいつ死ぬかわからないからパンツはいつも一丁の吐いとけってそうじゃなくて肝心なのは明日のってとここれは今日ちゃんと生きて明日へ行くための覚悟なんだ美晴君はその明日を守ってくれる仮面ライダーだろ大丈夫君がくじけた今日は俺たちが守るからところでさお前がどうやって戻ってきたかまだ聞けてないんだけど気にするなと言ったはずだじゃあこれだけ一緒に戦うのってもしかしてこれが最後そうしたくなかったらきっちり生き残れ分かったお前はな待ってろよアンク俺たちは必ずお前がいる明日へ行く絶対に助けるこの手が届く限りお前が本物のアンクじゃなくてもこの手で掴める命があるなら俺は迷わず掴む相変わらずボロボロだなお前のせいだろ知るか今日この日だったんだなお前がいる明日って言っただろお前の計画は止めるってちゃんと今日の分のアイスよこせ分かってるって行くよアンクエイジーそれは all 89 sounds that it cycles through if I hit it again. It's just back around to the beginning. So that is a ridiculous number of sounds. 89 phrases. It's pretty impressive.、Uh, so that's just cycling through all of the、uh, dialogue button, as it calls it.、Um, let's check out some of the、uh, background music functions next. All right, so the background music button is here. So, if we just go ahead and tap it once, So, it'll just play some background music. That music is called Battle Greed, according to the instructions here.、Uh, the next one, and you just hit it again to stop it. The next one is called Scanning Charge. And I don't know exactly how long they play for. I've never let them go forever, but I think it's just a nice long snippet of the song.、Uh, the next one is the Taja Dole song, Time Judged All.
And then the last uh, background music technically is not background music, but you couldn't have it without it. And I gotta be honest, I feel like it sounded better when I was first playing with it. I think because of all the sounds and phrases, the batteries in this thing are already dying. <laughs> so I'm gonna try some new batteries and see if it sounds a little better. But those are the four background music songs. Um, again, I'm not exactly sure if they play the entire song or not. I also kind of don't want to play the entire song for uh, copyright reasons and things like that. But those are the four uh, background music tracks that it does have. Uh, so next, I guess I'll jump into just a little bit of the Ankh navigation mode and the buddy voice mode, just to at least give you some kind of uh, demo of them. But again, I won't be diving 100% into them. So I did try some new batteries and uh, I'd retried the song. It just, I don't know, Anything Goes just sounds a little scratchy to me. It could just me being too hard on it, I'm not sure. You can still hear the song perfectly well. So we'll see how the rest of this goes, but turning this back on. And then we'll move this one into the middle for the buddy mode. Okay, so now we're technically in buddy mode. And I believe, according to the instructions, that I am supposed to long press the dialogue button under buddy mode. So that means hold this in. So I think I'm just supposed to let this sit and it's supposed to go off on random. I don't know. It's not really doing anything. <laughs> like I said, I don't really understand how these modes are supposed to work. But I don't know. We'll try the Ankh navigation mode, which would be to click it all the way to the end. This one says short press. Okay, so that's where he tells them three uh, medals to use, and it sounds like he throws them to you, and then you're supposed to put those three in and scan. So it's almost like a game mode, and again, I just, it doesn't really appeal to me all that much. Um, if you guys love it, you know, I hope you love it, but. I don't know. I'm not going to be spending too much time showcasing it just because I feel like it's just kind of like a tacked on mode in my opinion, but that's just me. Let's get into uh, some of the actual combinations here. So what I'm going to do is just turn this off for the moment and set this off to the side and we can start taking a look at all of these metals in this beautiful box. So first I'm just going to go through and show you all of the medals. Uh, first of all, I love this box. It looks like the holder from the show, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, but when you open this up, unfortunately it's not as nice inside, but it gets the job done. It's just plastic trays of all of these medals. So I'll try to zoom in here so you can see. So this is nice. These are all of Ankh's medals. You get one of each here, and then you get a cracked one, and then you get an actually split in half version of Taka, which is pretty cool. So I'll have to refer, because it's been a while since I've seen those, and I don't remember the name of all the medals. I apologize. Obviously, Taka is the first one, and then uh, Kaju... Kujaku? <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. Kujaku, which is Peacock, and Condor. Taka is Hawk, obviously. So then you have the cracked taka, and then you have the actual split-in-half taka, which is pretty cool. 
So taking these out of the little tray here, I think these two are the coolest. You can kind of put them back together, but they don't match perfectly, but it's, it's just a really nice touch. You can see it's split just like on the show. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. And then you have the cracked one, which can actually be used for a combination. We'll get to that in a little bit later. But it kind of feels flimsy, which is kind of neat. At the same time, I'm worried that it's going to break, but I don't think it will. I think that's just kind of adding to the motif. But you can see these, these pieces are kind of separate, just to convey that really cracked, messed up nature, which I think is kind of cool. And then here is Taka. And I believe the outsides here are die cast. Obviously the insides are still plastic. So these really don't look terribly different than the ones that came with, say, the super best driver for the O's driver. I mean, they still look great, but I feel like they're not incredibly different. So in the next tray, we have the green, yellow, and black sets. So let me get this again. We have Kuagata, which is a stag beetle. We have Kamakiri, which is praying mantis, and Bata, which is grasshopper. Then we have lion, tora, tiger, and cheetah. Then we have Sai, which is rhino, gorilla, and Zo, which is elephant. And again, they're pretty much the same. I'm not going to, you know, I'll show them off as I put them in the driver and everything, but I'm going to kind of, just so this, this video is going to be long as it is, so I kind of don't <laughs> want to spend so much time going through everything, but next up we have the blue set, which is Shachi, Killer Whale, then Eel, Unagi, and Taco, Octopus, then we have the Putatira set, which is Terra, you know, Pterodactyl, Pteranodon, Tricera, Triceratops, and then Tyranno for Tyrannosaurus. And then down here we have, I think this was a movie set down here, Cobra, Kame, which is Turtle, and then Wani, which is Crocodile. And again, I'll show them off in more detail as we go through the forms. And then here we have another movie form, Scorpion, Crab, and Shrimp. So Sasori for Scorpion, Kani is Crab, and Ebi is Shrimp. And then here you have the Super Taka, Super Tora, and Super Bata for the uh, Super Tataba formation. X, Amazon, and Stronger. These are three Rider medals. Then here you have the Imagine medal, the Shocker medal. And then you have these ones that are created by Foundation X. So Tora, Hawk, or Taka, um, Condor. No, sorry, this one's Condor. This one is Peacock. One day I'll learn that. And then Kuagata, Bata, and I almost know it. Kamakiri. So you can see how these all have a silver edge as opposed to a gold edge, because they're all versions made by Foundation X. I believe that was in the movie the with the Shocker Metal also comes from, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have Shrimp, Crab, and Scorpion in like a colored version, so he actually has a form. And then here we have, and I want to make sure I get these correct, so let me refer to the manual here. Uh, deer, Gazelle, and Bull. Now, I will say the bull looks more like a cow, especially with the coloring. And when we saw the form in those, uh, those like, diagnostics I showed earlier, he's definitely colored more like a cow. But technically, it's bull. So, bull, gazelle, and deer. And then we have centipede, bee, and ant, which is another form. I don't know if we... I definitely didn't think we saw it on the show, but maybe it was in a movie and I missed it. That's very possible. Walrus, polar bear, and penguin. I love the penguin one. That's fantastic. And then these are the three for the Poseidon buckle, but they can also be used in the normal buckle. And these are, where is it? 
Do, 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 do. I apologize. For some reason, in the in the magazine, the magazine, the instructions here, they're not in order, which is kind of hilarious to me for some reason. Do, do, do. Here we go. So shark, whale. So this is shark. This is whale. And then this is <laughs> Arctic wolffish, which I have to say is a, uh, it's a new one on me. And then we get kangaroo, panda, and uh, hermit crab, which I've always wanted these. They were like promotional bonuses, or I think Hyper Battle DVD, and I could never get them. So I'm really excited to have these two because that's really fantastic. So that is all 59 of the medals that you get. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. And then the five Ankh medals. These count as one. So that is all 59 medals that you get. That is a crazy amount of medals. Really fantastic. They all look fantastic. Very excited. Let's go ahead and get into some of these transformations. All right, so I'm going to run through these combos in the normal mode. And then I'll show you the uh, background music mode, how that works. There's a little bit of functionality with that. And then I'll try the buddy voice mode. But again, I'm not too good at it, so... We'll see how it goes. But we got to start with Taka, Tora, Bata. Make sure this is turned on. And then if we do scanning charge. I think that's cool. You can hear like the greed exploding and then some cell metals coming out. I think that's pretty cool. So next we'll take these out. And we will do the Gatakiriba. So I think that's pretty cool. It says scanning charge a couple times because got the kitty buzz powers to kind of duplicate himself. So I think that's pretty cool. It's very nice attention to detail. All right, so next up we'll do the Latorita combo. And I want to show off the medals just real quick. So here is Lion. He's a one. And then you've already seen Tora as a two. And there's Cheetah. Next up we'll do Sagozo. So here's Zo Elephant. Here is Gorilla, 
and here is Psy for Rhino. I like that sound of like the coins spinning and then falling. Very cool. All right, so we'll take these three out. And next we'll do Taj Adul. So here is the Condor. Here is the Peacock. And then here is Taka, which we've already seen. Now there's actually a, another version we can do if we use the cracked version of Taka. So it's very slightly different. I think that's going to come into play more in the buddy version. We'll make sure to try that version with that. Alright, so next up we're going to do the blue combo, which is Killer Whale, Eel, and Octopus. So here is Octopus, Taco. Here is Eel, Nagi. And Killer Whale, which I believe is show, but I could be wrong about that. Next up, we're going to have Pututira. So we have Tyranno, Tricera, and Terra. Next up, we'll do this movie combo with Cobra, Turtle, and Crocodile. 
Here's Crocodile. Here's Turtle. And here is Cobra. All right, let's see. First, we'll do the regular version of scorpion, crab, and shrimp. You can see they're all black. So you can see it doesn't really do much. It's kind of a generic scanning charge sound. But they do include them since I think in the movie the villain used these. So it's nice that they are included. And next up we will try... The actual versions, here is the purple scorpion, crab, and shrimp. So there you go, we got a form that time. I love the color scheme for this one. I think it's super fun. Next up we will do the Super Tato Ba. So we have the Super Bata coin, or metal. We have the Super Tora metal, and then the Super Taka metal. And then just for fun, next we will do the X Amazon Stronger Metals. So here is Stronger. Here is Amazon. And here is X. So, I just want to do it twice there to show you guys. It's not really a form. It's just kind of an attack. But it's still really cool that they're included.
All right, so next up, we're going to do normal taka with shocker and imagine. Next up, we will do the Taka, Torah, and Bata as created by Foundation X. So they look exactly the same, they just have a silver edge instead of a gold one. And then to finish out the Foundation X, we're going to do the Taja Dole version of Foundation X. So those are the Foundation X medals. They're not incredibly different, but they're still neat to have. Next up, we're going to do Deer, Antelope, and Bull. So here's Bull. I like this one a lot. Very colorful. <laughs> I know it's black and white, but it really stands out. It's really easy to see. Here is Gazelle. And then here is Deer. The fanfare music for that one is really fun. <laughs> Next up, we will do Centipede, Bee, and Ant. So here is Ant. I like that one a lot, too. Here is Centipede. And then here is Bee. Alright, 
And now we'll do Walrus, Polar Bear, and Penguin. So here is Walrus. Here is Penguin. And here is Polar Bear. I like that one a lot. I think those are some really cool medals. I love Penguin, he's adorable. All right, and the last full combo to show is the shark, whale, and strange fish. What is this thing called? Arctic wolf fish. I'm never gonna get that right, but anyway. Here's the Arctic wolf fish. And then here is the whale. And here is the shark. The music for that one's a lot of fun as well. So we still have a few medals to take a look at, but they're not full combos, if that makes sense. So we're going to have to bring back in Taka, Tora, and Bata. But first we're going to just do Bata and Taka with our good buddy Kangaroo in the center. So unfortunately, it's not too exciting of a sound, but they were shown in that Hyper Battle DVD, and they also had uh, Kangaroo as feet. So again, not really of true form, but it was shown in that Hyper Battle DVD, so I wanted to show it off. And then the other couple ones that we can do, if we put Bata back in. And then we have Panda. And last, but certainly not least, Hermit Crab, which is an amazing design and I love the color. So that should be all the combinations in normal mode. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the buddy voice mode. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the buddy voice mode, and then I'm supposed to long press this.
So with the transformations, I feel like this works better. When you try to do it on its own, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But with this, it's kind of cool. I'm going to do the scanning charge. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to try a different combination here. I'll try the cracked Taja Dole and see what happens. So I think that's kind of neat. Basically, the buddy voice immersion uh, adds some sound effects, kind of like if he was transforming on the show. So if you're kind of cosplaying and you just want to transform with just the sounds, that's the normal version. If you want to kind of have this thing reenact like little, not full scenes or anything, but just get some cool sound effects. Like you notice he says henshin uh, before you know, the transformation sounds play. So I think that's pretty cool. I was trying to look at these directions and I do admit that they're a little uh, difficult to understand, but I think in the earlier part where it was describing the buddy voice, it was kind of confusing me because I think it really is meant mostly to be used with the transformations. I don't think it has functionality on its own. I could be wrong, but you could see when I was showing earlier, it wasn't really doing anything, but then when you scan it, it gives you different sounds with the transformation. So I think that's really what its main purpose is supposed to be. So I don't know. That was weird. The other thing you can do if you put it back to uh, the normal version. And let me just reset it just to make sure. If you hold down this, you'll hear that sound. And now it's in uh, background music accompanying mode. And how that works is it'll play music when appropriate with your transformations. So I think that's pretty neat. I don't know if it's very different depending on which metals you put in. Um, let's, I'll just try another three randomly. Let's go with the old classic. We'll do Tato Ba. Oh, so apparently I have to press it down each time.
So I'm not quite sure if I did that that second time. I'm going to reset it. There we go. So it just sounds like it just plays the same music again. So, But it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat that it kind of pairs the music um, with the transformation. Again, just to kind of really get the experience of reenacting the show with the background music. And then you can have the buddy version to reenact some dialogue and stuff like that. So I think that's really neat. So the last thing to really show off here is the Poseidon buckle. There's not a ton to it. As you can see, it's just a spot for three metals. And when they press down all three of these buttons, it makes the sound. So technically, you could put any metals you want in here. But you're supposed to put shark. Whale. And then the arctic tiger fish. Or arctic wolf fish. Sadly, I believe that's all it does. I've been trying to read this, and it just says sound will go off, same sound will go off, even though other core metals are used. Because it really just, those three buttons just have to be pressed at the same time, and it really does not matter uh, which ones you put in there. But this is obviously the accurate according to the show. So if we take this off, you can hear... As soon as you take one off and all three buttons aren't pressed anymore, it makes kind of the, like, you know, detransformation sound. But you could even just press the three buttons with your fingers. So, I think it's neat. Alright. I think it's neat that they included this, but unfortunately it really doesn't do much. It doesn't have a ton of its own sounds. I've really been trying to look at this, and I'll try to look at it some more, but it really doesn't sound like it does too much else other than just transform and detransform. So I think it's cool they included it, but it doesn't really add a ton to the functionality of the whole toy as, as a whole. So this is a crazy beautiful set. I mean, it's definitely not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. After cost and middleman fees and shipping and everything, it's probably about a $400 set. Now, that is a lot. It definitely is a lot. But if you're a true diehard O's fan, this thing has a ton of playability to it. I mean, you have 59 medals included, all of which look fantastic, have die-cast metal pieces, and then all the different combinations you can make with the driver, all of the phrases and sounds that are packed into the scanner. There's a crazy amount of playability there. I do appreciate that they included the Poseidon buckle. Again, it doesn't do a ton, but I like its inclusion. It looks perfect. It looks really nice. Um, you have the belt, which is really nice. You have the little metal holder. Uh, just to kind of, you know, complete the look from the show, even though it's not too practical when you have 59 medals to choose from. I love the inclusion of the cracked and the actually broken Taka medals. I think they look fantastic. Everything that's included here is really nice. The instructions are in English. That's really appreciated because you can actually read everything that's going on. Uh, you have all those little kind of diagnostic sheets I showed you in the beginning. They all look great. A lot of beautiful artwork included there. So, this really is the complete set. This is about everything you could possibly want from an O's driver. All the medals you could possibly want, all the functionality, all the phrases, all the music, all of the dialogue. It's just, it's a complete package. So I could understand if you're on a budget, you know, this is probably not the set for you. It is quite pricey. But if you're a really diehard O's fan, or even if you just collect uh, CSM drivers, because they're really, really nice and pretty. And they really are complete. I mean, it really is just about everything you could want for an O's driver. So I recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. I definitely think there's a lot of playability with this. And it's going to look great on display. And I, like I said, I can completely understand if you need to pass. Because it is an expensive piece. But if you can afford it and you can treat yourself, 
definitely do so because this is really a beautiful set, uh, especially for big fans of O's. And come on, who's not a big fan of O's? That was a great show. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys for sticking around. This is a really long review. There were a lot of, a lot of intricate features to show off for you guys. So if you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.